If the song is right and all nations want bananas, then Honduras, the banana republic in the heart of Central America, is happy to supply them. Well, the growers are. The country's economy relies heavily on the popularity of its banana. In fact, the fruit already accounts for 40% of its export trade. And with new markets opening up in Eastern Europe, some say a real banana bonanza is on the way. But already it's bringing problems. Until recently, the lucrative fruit industry has been dominated by two American-based multinationals. The bigger of the two is Chiquita, a subsidiary of the American Financial Corporation. It's been here since 1913, and it has a lot of muscle, both economically and politically. It's responsible for two-thirds of the total Honduras banana export trade. Last year, for instance, the company exported 32 million boxes. Its trade is traditionally with the United States and Europe, and that's going up all the time. The company is happy. The financiers behind the company that owns the company are happy. Chiquita also claims that the government is happy too. This massive banana enterprise currently employs some 9,500 workers. And apart from the masses of fruit it produces on its own farms, it buys a third of its needs from local associate producers, the so-called independents. Until recently, pretty well all the banana producers have been happy to swim in the same pool with Chiquita and bear its name. But now a new appellation has appeared to complicate things. The unwelcome stranger daring to want a hand in the Honduran banana trade hasn't even got a Spanish name either. Fife's is an Irish-based company. But they've identified a huge potential new market in Eastern Europe, and after 1992, a freer one in the rest of that continent. They like Honduran bananas, and they've made an offer to one of the biggest independent producers, Cagson, that they couldn't refuse. Fife said they'd pay three times the rate that Chiquita was offering. So now the knives are out. Chiquita isn't happy. The financiers behind the company that owns the company aren't happy either. They say that CAGSA are under contract to them. CAGSA is uh, doing this at the inducement of Fives. Uh, we believe that that represents unfair competition on the part of Fives to be offering millions of dollars to a local producer in order to induce them to break uh, uh, its contract with us. The independent who accepted a better package from Fives counterclaims that Chiquita failed to live up to that contract. They say it's invalid and they feel free to sell to whoever they please. So as the workers innocently pick, pack and push, a minor war is brewing and the newcomer, Fives, appears totally confident its actions are positive and sincere. Well, Fives and other companies, other banana companies like Fife's, smaller independents, offer the, the, the independent grower here a chance to become their own boss and become their own exporter. We pay these growers in US dollars and the growers then arrange themselves the quality control procedures, the irrigation, the fertilizing and everything. Up until now that the major banana companies have been paying the, lo the local producers in local currency, and they, the banana companies, have been controlling the way the farms have been run. But that's not all they've been controlling. This is Fife's intended banana carrier. It's been sitting here for days, empty. Men with court orders restraining any loading have been the only things moving on the dock. This truck is full of heat-baked Fife brand bananas impounded by the military. Since March, three boatloads of the intruder's bananas have been stopped by Chiquita legal moves. Now, though, there are accusations about moves that aren't so legal. Latest skirmishes have included the disappearance of one port-bound train full of Fife's bananas. It was discovered 24 hours later cooking under a hot sun on Chiquita's side tracks. Later, another banana pack train was found derailed about 20 minutes outside the port. When that derailment occurred on Saturday, we had absolutely no reason to cause the derailment, as has been accused by uh, Faiz and uh, its representatives. Uh, we knew that that fruit, which was on the way to Puerto Cortes, would have been sequestered, as in fact it was. Meanwhile, as the big companies charge and countercharge, the independents who were promised so much are the losers. 
If the bananas don't get loaded, the growers don't get paid. It seems that no one will be let off the hook for a while. Even the government is embarrassed. The legal system is so uncoordinated, it defies even the cool diplomatic worldliness of the British. Fife's have a final judgment in their favor in a substantive, a substantive case which they took out uh, in the San Pedro Sula court, uh, which is being ignored in Puerto Cortes, both by the judge there and by the military who are now in effect saying whether or not bananas may be loaded in the port.